Hi Earth Signs, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a weekly energy for, you know, what's ahead, who's coming towards you, whatever, whatever comes up. It's just a weekly reading. This is for March 24th through March 31st for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we got for the week ahead for the Earth Signs? What do we got for the week ahead? Is anybody coming towards them? What can they expect? What can they expect in the week ahead? <laughs> Nine of Cups? Well, that seems too good to be true now, doesn't it? This is wish fulfillment. This is abundance. This is happiness. This is comfortable. You know, at ease. Three of Cups reversed. I mean, upright. <laughs> I saw it. I did. I don't know why I said that. Happiness, celebration, perhaps. Celebrating something. Maybe there's friends around. Maybe you're feeling good. Maybe there's some friends around or something like that. Ooh, a fresh new start, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something's going on here. Something is going on here. Ooh, tower. It is reversed, though. Two of swords. It's like a decision has been made. Somebody has made a decision about something. <laughs> Somebody's made a decision to start over. In instead of probably holding on to a false foundation. Maybe they've made a decision to accept change and stop... blocking change what the hell i mean this is no longer blocking making a sudden this is very sudden and this is very sudden so somebody there may be suddenly deciding that <laughs> i'm ready i'm ready I'm ready to start over i'm ready to begin again i'm ready to start from scratch I'm ready to celebrate I'm ready to be happy i'm ready to follow my dreams I really feel the Nine of, of uh, Cups is why I said that. I feel like somebody has been emotionally guarded and really fearful with this, really fearful about disaster, really fearful of getting themselves into a false contract or a false connection or a false foundation. Somebody has been trying to protect themselves from... Destruction, right? I mean, that's what this is. Somebody's been trying to protect themselves. No doubt. But there's definitely an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. And somebody's going to have to replace that fear with faith and let their guard down. So I think that somebody is, you know, I don't know, making a bold move perhaps. Ooh, there you are. Look at that. It's like I'm, I'm ready to give it away. I'm ready. Look at she's very content. She's like, look what I got. Do you want it? She's serious too. Very serious. to get the rest of the cards before I go any further on that one. Um, mm, yeah, somebody's been resisting change. Ooh, definitely been resisting change. Oh my God. But this is breaking free, the Ten of Swords, breaking free from a painful situation. Crow. I haven't said that in a while, have I? I don't think you guys have heard me say that, but 
we got quite a few majors here, so the universe is at work. And oh boy, we have death on the bottom. Okay, so the the universe is definitely at work. It is. I think that somebody has been holding on to a dead end. Okay, and it's getting old. It is getting old. And now it's just like I'm ready for my happiness. I know that I have a lot to offer. And I'm sick of being stuck here. I'm sick of being stuck here. I think that somebody has been resisting change for quite some time. It's pretty evident here. And I feel as though now it's like it's time for me to go. It's time for me to start over. So I feel like we have somebody that has been lacking balance and has been lacking harmony in their life has been going through a period of healing and perhaps been unable to to make any compromises because they were protecting themselves I have somebody that here that has been protecting themselves greatly from deception really big fear of deception fear of being tricked fear of being duped right so somebody has been like holding on to their offer and, and holding on to their stability, unwilling to give it away. But it's like now it's like, oh, I think I'm ready. I think I'm, I think I'm ready. And I feel as though um, we definitely have the universal, we have universal help here. We do. We, we do. I think somebody has been resisting a closure, you know, resisting closure, resisting... Uh, a destined change but we're at this point where you know it's time for you to, to take that leap of faith and accept this new opportunity so I think think there's a new opportunity for wish fulfillment maybe you've met somebody in your community or you've met somebody online or you you know met somebody at some sort of celebration and there's or something you've met somebody you've communicated with somebody that makes you happy but you know, there's so much fear of getting yourself into a false connection that, you know, now it's time to open up. And I think that somebody is, is about ready to really break free of their own restrictions. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? It's like breaking free of restrictions. I think uh, somebody has been basically maybe even lying to themselves to protect themselves you know we'll do them kinds of things subconsciously you know we will deceive ourselves and we'll sabotage ourselves and we'll stay stuck in situations to protect ourselves so there's been a lack of action there's been a lack of taking any steps in a new direction to protect right and to protect myself from this kind of uh, destruction happening to me again so, but it's gotten old. It's like this, it's gotten old, okay? Now it's time for a new beginning. It really is. So I feel as though you guys are, are, are finally ready to extend yourself. You know, that's what it looks like to me. After trying for a long time, probably not to. I think that you're about ready to. I feel like, no. Oh, the King of Cups reversed. I think that the reason, the reason, the whole reason that somebody has been stuck is because of perhaps a karmic situation with a person that did not have good intentions and didn't know how to love. You know, it's that, I heard, just heard that song when you, I can't remember what the song is, but, uh, I think it's because of you. No, it's not because of you. It's, uh, what the hell is that song? Hurt by a Man Who Can't Love. It's by Sarah Baralis. Something like that. It is by Sarah Baralis, but I'm not sure what the name of it is. But the song says I'm, you know, afraid to love again or whatever. Being loved by, a, or not loved by a man who, can, this is a man who can't love. Or a person. Because water signs are very feminine. So anyway, it's a person that can't love. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been hindered and stuck on a person that can't love. 
And now it's like, it's time for a change. It's time to allow. It's time to start over. And I feel like we have somebody here that is finally ready. They're content. They're comfortable now. You know, it's like, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I, you know, things are brighter than they used to be. And I feel like um, somebody is dropping the baggage. It's breaking free. With the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords reversed, this is breaking free. It is. It's dropping that baggage. Drop, dropping that false connection, that false foundation that's putting yourself back in the game. So I feel like we have somebody here that is... And it, I, I just shuffled. Death is on the bottom again. Same, same reverse, holding on to a dead end situation. I think I shuffled anyway. We'll have to look back and see if I did. I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure that I just did. But who knows? Anyway, um, things have been stagnant. Things have gone, somebody was reluctant to move forward. And it's like now... I feel as though somebody has decided it's time to break free. It's time to end this chapter, okay? We have 10, 10, 10, completion, completion, completion. I feel like it's, it's, it's finally time. It's time to complete this chapter of deception and destruction and false foundations, you know? It's like breaking free from a false foundation, right? No longer, somebody's been sacrificing themselves and sabotaging their future relationships because of a person that couldn't love. And I think it's gotten to the point where it's too old and it's time to, you know, drop this, drop it. So I really feel like somebody is starting fresh at zero. Deciding to go out maybe with their friends or start dating again. It's time to just be happy. It's time to extend my offer elsewhere. You all saw me shuffle that time. This is no joke. It's over. It's over, okay? The worst is over. Somebody is finally letting go. They've held on to a dead end for long enough. And now we have a new beginning. Transformation. Release. It's time to live again. So I feel like we have a fresh new start here. Starting over. That's what's going on, Earth Signs. You guys are starting at zero. You're letting go of the false connection, the false foundation, or whatever it was that you were hanging on to. And you're starting over at the very, very, very beginning. You may be blocking communication. You may be... Um, just putting a complete stop, a stop, a, a stopper. I'm trying to think of the word. What is that thing called? A wedge. You know, in between the past and, and the present. It's like just like stopping it all. I'm going to celebrate my life. I'm going to celebrate my happiness. I'm going to live again. I think somebody's been really conflicted for quite some time about letting go. But it's like all of a sudden, and I think it is sudden. I think all of a sudden it's just like 
breaking free. I mean, freedom, freedom. All of a sudden you're free. It's like, I'm free. I'm free. Freedom, freedom, freedom. I'm free. I'm free. It's realizing I'm free. I'm free to begin. I'm free to start over. And somebody has been deceiving themselves. At this son of a gun right here. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And you notice it's not just one person. There's been a lot of lies. There's been a lot of deception. That's kept somebody stuck. It's time to take that mask off and accept the truth. There's somebody new here. There's a new connection here. Because we have a new beginning. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. We have a new connection coming about. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Codependency. And somebody's been stuck. Somebody's been stuck to something that it's kind of like they were addicted to it. That's the, that's the ultimate deception to codependency. So I really feel like we have somebody that is breaking an old habit. Seriously. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I feel like somebody is making a decision. Absolutely. They're making a decision to start over with someone new. After lying to themselves for so long about somebody that couldn't love them. And now they have an opportunity for wish fulfillment probably with somebody who... Really has something to offer them. Could be another earth sign. Could be a Scorpio. A Scorpio here a couple times. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be an Aries. Could be a Leo. Could be an Aquarius. Could be Scorpio, Taurus. Um, I said that already. We have Gemini. Could we have anybody? But it doesn't really matter. It feels as though somebody is about to break free from a... self-deception unfortunately somebody had been lying to themselves about a false connection and it's like they know it's over the death was reversed they've been holding on to the dead end and it's like or holding on to the death and it's like now it's time it's time to begin again so yeah uh, we have a new beginning here we absolutely have a new beginning here That could lead to wish fulfillment. It's like a dream come true. The nine of cups, it's a dream come true. It's a solid, stable opportunity. But somebody has been reluctant to take that step. But anyway, I'm not going to go backwards. And you shouldn't either. Good luck. <laughs>